नमस्कार मित्रों इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड ए वन इज टू थर्टी टू स्केल थ्री डी प्रिंटेड माइक्रो आर सी कार नाउ इफ यू डोंट हैव अ थ्री डी प्रिंटर और यू डोंट वॉट टू बिल्ड इट यूजिंग वन मेक श्योर टू वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड बिकॉज आई हैव समथिंग स्पेशल फॉर यू नाउ कमिंग टू द रिमोट कंट्रोलर ऑफ द कार आई डिसाइडेड टू यूज ई एस पी नाउ कम्युनिकेशन फॉर दैट आई बी यूजिंग ई एस पी थर्टी टू बेस्ड रिमोट कंट्रोलर दट आई बिल्ड इन वन ऑफ माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज सिंस आई ओनली नीड टू कंट्रोल टू सर्वोज एंड ई एस पी टू सिक्स इज मोर देन इनफ फॉर द रिसीवर यू कैन डेफिनेटली बिल्ड दिस रिसीवर ऑन अ पफ बोर्ड but to make this build more professional compact and lightweight i decided to design and use custom pcb for this project i started this project by designing the circuit in easy eda converting it into a pcb layout and exporting the gerber files then i uploaded them to glcpcb.com to order the boards big thanks to glcpcb for sponsoring this video glcpcb is one of the most reliable and affordable pcb manufacturers out there they offer everything from standard and multi layer pcbs to advanced six layer pcbs flex PCBs, PCB assembly and SMT stencils. Using six layers really helps in complex designs. It gives more routing freedom, cleaner signal paths and saves a lot of time. Ordering is very simple. Just upload your garbage files, select your PCB specifications and place your order in a minutes. The interface is beginner friendly and gives you instant pricing. After a few days my PCBs arrived and as always the quality was excellent right now GLC PCB is offering a limited time deal you can get 6 layer PCBs for just $2 and a $33 coupon using the link in the description this time i also ordered an smt stencil to make the pcb assembly much easier and cleaner now let's prepare the pcb and jump in straight into the assembly process All right the assembly is complete and the result looks fantastic let's upload the code next you can use any programmer to program your board but i am using this cap of esp programmer i have already explained the coding process in a previous video so just follow the code provided in the description select esp32 for the transmitter and node mcu for the receiver and you are good to go and that's it the transmitter and receiver are working perfectly including both the transmitter and receiver these are all the parts required for this build you can find the complete parts list link in the description now let's move towards the 3d printing process All the 3D printed parts came out really well. You can find the STL file links in the description. Now let's start assembling everything together. Before we continue, a big shout out to LTM for sponsoring today's video. LTM is known for supporting some of the world's most advanced electronics design workflows, helping engineers collaborate better and build with confidence. And if you are a student, LTM has something truly valuable for you. LTM Student Lab. 
It gives you free access to industry level learning and a structured PCB program that takes you from basics to the real world design, including layout, manufacturing awareness, and supply chain fundamentals. You will work on practical projects, grow your portfolio, and even earn a certificate that helps you open doors for your future career. So if you are serious about the electronics, check the link in the description and join the LTM student lab today. Now let's get back to the build. later. As you can see guys, it's working exactly as expected. I even cover the rubbery tires with electrical insulation tape just to test some drifting. I won't call it a proper drift car but honestly, it's still a lot of fun. Now coming back to the promise I made at the beginning, if you don't want to build this car using a 3D printer then make sure to check out this video. And you can thank me simply by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. That's it for today guys, I'll see you in the next one.